Hey, hey, hooray! Gen D3 has been released, and I'm gonna have a know how to and do everything yourself uh, video on how to install this and update your custom firmware to 5.50 Gen D3. Um, be sure to make sure your battery is above 78%. And this is going to be an X-Gen installer, so um, you're going to need the official firmware 5.50 eBoot, renamed as 550.pbp. And uh, I'll have some directions on the side of the video, along with the link on where to get this file. So, um, yeah, basically, um, that's about it. So, uh, let's get to it. Alright, so here is a uh, PSP 2000 mo slim or slash light model and I'm just going to scroll down to system settings here and system information and show you my firmware which is on 5.50 gen D2. Um, I'm going to go back and I'm simply just going to put this in USB mode <coughs> and then come to the computer. Alright, so the file I'm going to have you download is right here. It's called X-Gen version 55-50 Gen D3 released, yada yada, 12609, yada yada yada, .zip. You gotta double click on that and open that up, right? And once opened, if you don't have an uh, extraction program, just right click on it, say extract all to your desktop to make your life a little easier. You're gonna see inside here, PSP, the readme, 5.50 Gen D3, 550.pvp and a download from pspslimhex.com.txt anyways <coughs> after you download this from the link that I've provided we're just gonna slide this over here and I'm gonna come to my computer and I'm gonna open up the removable disk from my PSP now what you're gonna do right now is take the 550.pbp right it's already renamed for you and drag and drop that into your memory stick root of your PSP memory stick. Now I've already done that just to save some time, so I'm gonna hit no, but I will confirm that it is here in my root of the memory stick. There it is, 550.pbp, and it is in my removable drive F. Now, open up the PSP folder, and then open up your regular game folder, and from the extraction program, Go into the PSP folder in there, then I double click on the game folder, you will see the update folder, drag and drop that into your memory stick, and let that copy over and you're done. And make sure that update is all in capital letters, confirm that the folder is in the uh, removable drive F PSP game folder, you could exit this, get rid of this extraction program, minimize that and come back to the PSP. Alright, back at the PSP, I'm going to exit USB mode and scroll over to my game memory stick and you will see the 550D3 for Gen installer. Hit X and start that up. <coughs> now this little screen is going to come up, you're going to hit X to enter it. And you're going to say flash install custom firmware 5.50 gen D3. It's the very first one. Hit X. And just wait for that to finish. Yay! It's done. Okay. Hit X to reboot. And system information. Oh, don't look at the MAC address. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, when this shit happens. All right. There you go. 5.50 Gen D3. Successfully installed. Bong. That's it. Voila. And hold on. Give me two seconds. There. Bong. Okay. Better view. 5.50 Gen D3. There you go. Installed. That's it. So yeah, guys. That's it. Um, just yeah. That's that's all you gotta do. Pretty simple. So I'll have the link for you guys. 
Subscribe if you want to stay up to date. Send me a message or comment if you got any questions. Leave me a comment on my channel if you have any recommendations for videos to come. But, yeah. Um, so now you can play, like, every game out for PSP. Because that's what this update does. So it's pretty cool. Um, other than that, enjoy the firmware. And I'll see you guys later. Bleh.